after it happens. You know everything. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Blue Jay Field. The Prince High School will accept you. The Blue Jay Field will bring out the very own Captain Blue Jay. The Blue Jay Field will bring out the very own Captain Blue Jay. The Blue Jay Field will bring out the very own Captain Blue Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's FBIA 2017 high school football game between the Loyal Greyhounds and the Athens Blue Jays. This is the first game for both teams in conference. Loyal losing a couple of conference teams, so they will have a couple of uh, new teams to play this year. Um, broadcasting with me tonight is Sarah you. Yeah. Loyal is looking a little smaller this year, as you can probably kind of tell, actually. Yeah. And they lost a lot of seniors last year. Yeah. Included a lot of their line. I think like five seniors last year, yeah. Yeah. And now, I mean, Athens, you come here and they just kind of, every year seem pretty big, so Loyal's going to even look a little smaller here. Yeah. In comparison. Looks like I couldn't tell you for sure, but it looks like Loyal 
lost the ki er, the coin toss, and they're going to end up receiving here. I know Mr. Liner likes to defer a lot, so. Yeah. And um, Devin Wynn and Jordan Redu are back to receive. And. I believe it's so it's Tyson Somer to kick off for Athens. Devin on the return out to the 30. Ooh. He lost. Now he held on to the ball but got popped pretty hard there. And now you're going to see the size show up a little bit here. Yeah, I know Tyson Summers is a pretty good wrestler, even to stay the last couple of years and even beat Nick Reed. I think he's the one who ended up making that tackle here. Yeah. yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Penn State kicker. Um, who was it? Uh, Julian something, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't think of his name now, but yeah, you're right. Oh, they're going to have to take him off. He hit so hard he knocked his snap off. Well, obviously, like Ty, uh, Sarah was saying here, a new look up front. Um, we'll see once they get out here what we got for a line right to left. Jordan, the tight end on the right. Tackle Ethan Weinfurt in her guard. S Buchanan, I believe, is Steven. And I think our center is Tofar. Kobe, as the first carry goes for six. Yards to Hunter much. The Moyle's starting up with the hurry up offense. No huddle here to start the game. Second give also to Hunter and he gets pinched up but it's not before it's the first down. All the way out to the 45 of Loyal. 46 of Loyal. They're really pushing this tempo here. I think they're trying to get just kind of one one simple look from Athens. They don't have much time to ch change plays or give different looks. The snap, the inside carry is Clayton, I believe, but I Yeah, don't. usually he's their power back. Yeah, and that's a big interior for Athens, so. Clayton changed his number, I believe. Yeah. Last year he was 41. This year he's 20. Yeah, and they announced him 41 too. And yeah, that's how they have it on the program. <laughs> Mr. Lambrecht did tell me that some of the numbers would change. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully that'll get fixed here. In motion is Devin Witt. We're going to uh, get offsides. Looked like number seven jumped. That's Seth Coker. So, yeah. set him up with about second and six. Right at the 50 yard line here for a second down. I think Kobe Tofar is the new center. Yep, and Can then I think you're right. And Gibbs, yep. Clayton. Clayton. And you can see there, just like last year, Clayton usually gets or needs one or more person or more than one person to get him down. Yeah. Mango on the tackle with a couple other Blue Jays. Now, I know a successful play last year was actually a pitch to Clayton because he's not exactly a slow running back, mm -hmm. even though he is a power back, too. Gives to Devin Witt on the far side. Ooh. He's going to get tackled by Clay Allenbecker. Allenbecker, a senior this year, made a nice play there. Devin coming right down the line. He really stretched that out, sets him up with a fourth and seven. Got a new unit out there. I think they're going to punt here. And we got Jack Design back to return for Athens. And yeah, that was Devin Witt on the punt. And right there, that was, I believe, Parker Luffel. Yeah. yeah. He was a big special teams player last year. He was always down the field first. Yeah, that was really nice coverage. Athens going to start with the ball. 
believe 20, 25. Looks like 25 yard line. Yeah. So 9.34 to go. And we got Seth Coker heading the offense here for our Athens Blue Jays. Yeah, and on the roster for the Athens Blue Jays, there's 12 seniors, I believe. 11 or 12. Yeah, they brought a lot of kids up this year. Yeah, so a lot of these guys will be leaving after this year. Looks like it's a give up the middle and stopped by Kobe Tofar right away. And it was Alan Becker on the carry. So second and nine. Plays coming in and out from the sideline here for Athens. A little bit of a different tempo here. And Loyal has those wristbands to mm -hmm. shout out what the play is. We talked about this last year and how it's different from a lot of teams in the conference. But they're going to try to get to the outside here. And a nice hop by the Loyal defense set in the edge. That looked like Hunter Much and Brody Shear. And Brody Shear was out most of last year with an ankle injury here. Yeah, I think he had knee injury. reconstruction. Yeah, reconstruction. Yeah. yeah, he missed a lot. So big senior year here. You know he's ready to get back and get after it. So that'll set Athens up with about a third and ten again. And you can kind of see how big the Athens line is compared to Loyal's defensive line. They got a blitz. I mean, they're not the smallest. Blitz, but it was a screen. screen. Oh, Ooh. but that one back dropped it. Ooh. That was going to be a nice play. Yeah, and I, I saw the blitz call from the linebacker Telfar going through, and I thought that was really nice, but they set that screen up really well. They yeah. That was the perfect time to do a screen, mm -hmm. too, on a blitz like that. So fourth and nine, and looks like they're going to punt. So yeah, two back to return. And it looks like Ellen Becker is going to punt. That's Clay Ellen Becker. And we got Redu and I believe Froby back to return. That's a good punt. Yeah, yeah really with a lot of air time there. He caught it at the 30. He's got and he's going to cut back and a nice block there by Stephen Buchanan. And he's nice. going to get down, it looks like, almost inside the 40 at about the 43 of Athens. Yeah, that was a really nice block. That yeah, could have been he, a, he really blindsided that guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that could have been a different different result there on that return, but yeah, that was a really nice edge. Gave him a lot of sideline to run. And Stephen Buchanan pretty much made his varsity debut last year, and he was basically all defense towards most of the end of the season. That's right, when Hunter chipped his shoulder up there in yeah. Abinster. Wood in motion. Gonna give it to Rarick up the middle. Ball came out. I don't know if they called him down. He covered it anyway. Yeah. That play doesn't really seem to be working, but yeah, they I, have a I ain't one to judge. <laughs> I'm not the coach. So they're gonna take Wood out and put it in Leffel. And the big interior makes it hard to run against this Athens team. Wailing under center. Bone formation. There's gonna that. give it to Parker. Leffel. And he's going to get a small game. Maybe about two or three. Loyal, I believe, is pretty close to four down territory here. Being high school football and all, it's inside the 40. You're just about a, a four down every time, so... I'll see you, third down. See what they're looking for. Oh, it's going to be a pass. And he gets absolutely hammered by Tyson Summers, and he's slow to get up. That almost looked like a busted play. Yeah, you saw Waylon look, look the hand off. And Tyson Summers, he just, no one even touched him. He is such a big force on the inside. Yeah, 6'4", and... 265. Yeah, I, I don't know if we have anyone over 220. I don't. And I wouldn't. They're think gonna so. punt here. Oh. Huh. This could be a good chance to get him down inside yeah. the 10, though. And that's a nice punt. Fair catch called. And there it is. Yeah. 
Looks like it's gonna be the ten. Yeah, in five. Uh, sorry, we have to compete for real estate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the loyal defense will come back on after Athens gets Athens gets the stop. And really no momentum has been Yeah, gathered by either team. Yeah. The, I thought maybe on that punt return that was you know, it set him up with yeah. really good field position and nice return, but it looks like it's going to be a defensive struggle here tonight. And they're going to give it up the middle, and that's Ellen Becker again. And that's not going to go from, well, maybe a gain of four. Four, yeah. Doesn't look like that much from here, but we're kind of at a weird angle. Yeah. At least we're not on the ground this year. Yeah. <laughs> And a new camera tonight. Yeah. Super duper camera. Yeah. yeah. Some loyal coming out in that 4 4 defense. The, the give inside of it. And that's a perfect play by, I believe that was Brody Shear. Yeah, and uh, he just shed his defender and filled that gap nicely. That was. Mm -hmm. That couldn't have worked out better for Loyal's defense there. Moyle doing a really nice job defensively here, controlling that line of scrimmage. The offense may be having a little bit of trouble, but defensively they're just going toe to toe with these guys for now anyway. And speed of the defense. Yeah. Loyal may have lost some size, but they gained some speed. And they're yeah. gonna give up the middle again. That's Ellen Becker. And He's still up, but they're gonna ball came up, but they're gonna. Forward progress was stopped, so they're going to yeah. say he was down. That was just basically every Greyhound was in on that play. Mm -hmm. And that's going to make it fourth and about maybe six. I believe you'd see a punt here again from yeah. Athens. And so 5.15 left in the quarter. Yeah. Not a lot of action has happened yet. Got a chance to make something big here. Nope. And they're going to fake it. And Devin Witt's out there. Going to get oh, and trips him up. And that was. I don't believe uh, he had to were, get just They were high. down. The 18 then. No, oh, that was a gamble. That was a very close one. Athens really having a lot of faith in their defense here to get a stop, which so far they've played well, but inside red zone here. Let's see what Loyal can do. And that was a play that I I can't remember who. It might have been these guys last year, but one other team ran that kind of play where they would run out to the side, and if it was at least if there was only two people out there, they would run. But if there was a lot more than that, they would punt it. Hunter Much on the outside, sheds a block, cuts back, and tackled inside the five, it looks like. Allen Becker saw to get out, just slipped and... <laughs> Fellas, Hunter cut back, and that was, you see that gamble not paying off here for Athens. Loyal, the first and goal here from the two, the one. Two or one, yeah, one of them. I think they're at the one. Oh, yeah, they're definitely at the one. You can see where the ref is standing. Let's see if Whalen keeps this and just tries to help. Looks like he's changing the play at the line. Yeah, I see some middle gap blitzes here from... Athens linebackers. And Ball so, start. Oh. Come on, Shear. Get in play here. Go. And that was that's really tough because that was a really delayed play. He I don't know if they were trying to go on a different count or what, but you know, offensive line's ready to go and they were So it's going to be the ball on the six now. That was only a five-yard penalty. Going to put much in motion. Going to fake the pitch. Give to Clayton Rarick up the middle. And not much. I'll keep him up the four. Hopefully they can punch it in here. Uh, Athens bringing in an interior sub here for Ellen Becker. That looks like Kyle Peel, a freshman. 5'9", 165. Looks bigger than that. Yeah, it's bigger body goal line defense here. We'll see here they got they got their play in. 
Waylon under center in the bone formation. Turns. Going to be an it. option. That's play. It didn't work well last year, but this time he just keeps it and goes in. Now, last year, pretty much every time they tried that play and actually pitched the ball. Yeah, they had a lot of struggles. It, with yeah. The it was hard to get that to succeed. But first try this year, and it worked without the pitch. The first score of the 2017 season here. Looks like they're going for two. Yeah, Nick Reith was the main kicker last year. And now I don't really know if they even have one. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out when they kick off here. But yeah, they haven't kicked off yet. Ah, and false, false start. start. I wonder if they're changing the count here or if they're just that anxious to get up and go. I think they're changing that count because yeah. it's taking so long to get the snap. I think it's a different count. Well, it's just got to know. It's an advantage to have a different count, but you got to use it. Then. 